Hey, what's going on, YouTube fam? This is your boy, Steve, aka Fryer Tuck. And today we'll be going over, you know, going over this camera installation. Uh, it's a Halo view. Cable cord and antenna. Guess these are your wipes right here. Clean your surface off with. Yep. And these are some uh, wire. I guess some wire ties. So, like I said, this is your Halo View camera from Halo View. Uh, just stick around. I'm going to go ahead and install this for you guys and give it a little road test and let you see how it works and everything else. Uh, these are your user manuals. Like I say, some more wipes. Clean wipes. This is your mountain bracket, I guess, for inside your vehicle. Well, not for the truck, yes, not guessing, but that's what that is mountain bracket for the camera, I do so believe. So these are crimp ties, yeah, for your wires, crimp your wires. Another mount for your screen, not your camera. These mounts are for your screen itself. It goes into the vehicle. And this is your camera. Your rear view camera for your travel trailer, RV, fifth wheel. is your screen. Halo view. Like I said guys, this is your uh, Halo view. Let's see. BT6 touch. So here's some more uh, wires for the installation. Antennas, USB, USB C port, plug ins for the vehicle, for the uh, screen itself, another uh, port. I guess I call this old cigarette. <laughs> this goes into your cigarette lighter. Some more wires. Looks like this goes to the back of the uh, camera. This is your seal. So yeah. All right, guys. All right, YouTube fam. I'm gonna uh, remove this cover because the RV actually came. Um, uh, camera was the camera ready or? Yeah, so it just it, this is just a cover right here. There's nothing, no camera or anything. So just remove this plate, this cover. All right, fam. It's just a gasket right here. I'm gonna remove. Just a gasket. Once I take this off, I'm gonna just clean this area up right here, and uh, you know, go ahead and put the other gasket on and seal it up, and put the camera on and just seal everything back up. But uh, 
just wanted you guys to see this. This is the gasket I'm removing off. So we'll get back with you guys. All right, guys, welcome back. I have cleaned the area. Uh, what I used is um, some alcohol wipes and some Gooby Gone as well because it had a bunch of the, uh, silicone up here, so I had to clean the area. And like I said, my RV was already camera ready, so it had a wire already, the adapter. So their, their camera actually came with an adapter as well. So what I use is their female, well, they male to my female, and now the male end goes into the female end of this camera. So here on the camera, it actually came with a, this bracket right here. And with this bracket, you feed your wire through the bracket. And that bracket actually sits back here on the camera. So it connects in like that. So with this, the room in here, the space in here, I can actually stuff my wires in here instead of stuffing them back into the RV, feeding them back into the RV. Uh, you could do that as well which is nothing wrong with that, but I'm gonna just feed them back in here because I have enough room. And once I got that piece on, this gasket here, I'm gonna put a slit. And once I put that slit in, run this wire through, uh, silicone, seal it, seal that back right there. And then I'm gonna take this, connect it to this uh, male end, and then connect everything together. So once, we come back, you'll see it all together. All right, guys. As you can see, we've installed the camera. There she is. So now we are actually going to mess with the screen and see what we got. So stay tuned. All right, YouTube fam. Here we go. These are these are the brackets, the mountain brackets that actually came with it. I guess you got a uh, one with the uh, suction cup for your windshield. So I'm thinking I'm going to use the suction cup for the windshield versus this one with the uh, I guess I'll call the adhesive sticky tape. I don't actually want to mount that way on here, so I'm we're gonna use the suction cup. So, but let me show you, let me check the screen out. Let's see what the screen is all about. I actually forgot about the uh, you got a USB, USB C. You actually, actually can use this as well. And you put your Type C in here, and then if you got a USB port in your vehicle, you just plug it in. So. But I think we're going to use this uh, 12 volt uh, cigarette, I call it a cigarette uh, adapter. So we're going to use this is because I'm here and if I do the wire from here to here, the ball will be in the way and I got to run it. So I'm going to just use this. So let's plug it in and see what we get. So we have power, but it's saying no signal. So I'm pretty sure you have to have your running lights on. So let's see, running lights on. And there we go. It's clear screen, it's real clear. I like that, it's really clear. So you got functions, uh, channel 3 so I'm guessing channel 4 is our um, channel that will receive signal yep channel 1 2 and 3 channel 4 yes yeah, is the signal so okay and then you got your volume so you can turn your volume down actually uh, you can mute it What other settings we have here? You got your pairing. That's when you're pairing your um, screen to your camera. That's when you first install and you got to pair it. Uh, you got picture and brightness. So you can dim it. Uh, the contrast. Take out the coloration, I guess. Make it greener or greener.
gray are. Your color. Okay, this is your color. Okay, this is going from taking some of the tin out, I guess. Okay. Play, I guess, like I said, you can record because you you have you do have a uh, SD uh, slot here, SD card slot here, so you can actually um, record and stuff. This is your park line, so you can actually widen it, uh, bring it in, scan. I guess that's scanning for your channels. Then your other settings. So yes, um, video clarity, real clear. I give it a uh, two thumbs up on that, and um, the functions actually work real good too. So another two thumbs. Thumbs up for that. Um, nice camera. Alright guys. So YouTube fam, here's the uh, finished product. So I have it mounted. Um, like I said, very good product. Uh, I give it two thumbs up. I highly recommend it. Halo View BT6 Touch. That's it. Thank you guys for tuning in.